Fall Football 2020, the season that almost wasn't. COVID-19 changed everything for everyone in a myriad of ways. Like college football as a whole, it was an on-again, off-again affair for service academies. For Army, the pandemic forced them to reschedule nine of their 12 games. Gone was one against powerhouse Oklahoma. Instead, teams like Abilene Christian and Mercer helped fill the schedule. But one upside, most of the new games would be played at home. It's been quite a journey just in terms of we lost original scheduled games and then we were, we've replaced them and then the teams that we replaced them with dropped out and we, we just kept backfilling and backfilling and backfilling. For Navy, it was caution that ruled the day. Practices in the summer, but with no contact because of the coronavirus. That meant no tackling by the players before the first game. This year you have to have a COVID-19 plan and a football plan. And this year your COVID-19 plan has to be better than your football plan. And for the midshipmen, the game one results were disastrous. A 55-3 loss to BYU in a game where Navy's coach admitted his team just wasn't ready. That game was 1,000% my fault. Uh, obviously, we weren't prepared. One team was playing football. We looked like that was our first live game. But there's nobody to blame but myself. I erred on the side of trying to keep our guys safe with COVID-19 and contact tracing stuff. But we weren't ready to play. Obviously, it's the worst Navy football game we've ever played. But we weren't prepared, and it was my fault. Air Force first got the good news that they'd at least play Army and Navy meaning a chance for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. It's definitely a lot different this year. Just everything that, that's going on right now is different. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's like a new opportunity for us. You want to play as much football as you can possibly play, but it is quite, quite different uh, that way. And it's a, uh, it, yeah, it is, it is different. But Air Force didn't actually play a game and barely practiced until a month into the season, with game one coming in October against Navy. First and goal for Warren Bryant, keeps himself, goes over the right side. He's in for an Air Force touchdown. Warren Bryant, a one yard run. And the route is on here at Falcon Stadium. I don't know that there's many people that would have predicted this sort of an outcome. Time off advantage, Air Force. They blew out Navy 40 to 7. The Falcons were able to add four conference games to their schedule in a season where everybody had to deal with COVID. And we've also been having COVID testing. It's been random throughout the entire cadet wing. And then also now for all the football players, we've been getting tested at least once a week. We would all like to be playing football as we normally do, but, but COVID doesn't allow that. And so we're going to have to make adjustments. We're going to have to keep safety in mind, and, and it will look different. For the Black Knights, the balance was keeping the players safe, but also making sure they could play football every week. There's a lot of different protocols that are in place for us in terms of our, our daily operations. But once we hit the practice field and, and, and really what we're doing to prepare our players is very much like a, a normal season has been. But that didn't always happen. Games were canceled, some postponed, even the storied Service Academy rivalry games took a hit. An outbreak of COVID-19 at the Air Force Academy forced the Falcons to postpone their game against Army for six weeks. And the famed Army-Navy matchup was relocated to West Point from its usual Philadelphia venue. Army won both contests against Navy and Air Force to take the Commander-in-Chief's trophy for 2020, capping off a season of perseverance. This season and this year has been a challenge for every human being on the face of this planet, and, and, uh, and our guys have had those challenges too. In life, things never go exactly perfect or exactly as planned, and so I think you adapt and adjust. You know, these guys are, if they're flying planes one day, not everything's going to be where they fly uh, at the altitude in which they filed their flight plan or if they got to work around a little bit of turbulence. That's part of, uh, part of being an Air Force officer, too. In the end, the Falcons played six games, finishing 500 on the season. For the midshipmen of Navy, it was a down year, winning just three of their ten games and losing their last five, including to Army. 
And for the Black Knights, after cobbling together a schedule when 10 opponents dropped out due to the pandemic, they finished the year 9-3, and three, winning all eight games at home and ending with a trip to a bowl. And the senior class was the winningest in program history with three CIC trophies. There's a spirit in this team and a, and a love for each other in this brotherhood that's uh, just, it's uncommon. And, um, and this, is, this is the best team that I've ever been a part of. A season of challenges overcome. That's the Military Academy way. When Behind the Lines returns, we'll bring back our writers panel and share some final thoughts as we wrap up our celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. The conversation continues right after this.